Hi, today we're going to talk about buzzwords. As a journalist and a writer, it's all too easy to slip into a very easy vernacular and use very common buzzwords. Almost anything can be a buzzword. And sometimes they can be completely new words created for a particular moment. There are words in the, in the maritime industry today, such as big data, digitalization, and even disruption. Many of these words have their time and their place, but there is a growing need to use them over and over again, really. It's something we've been discussing a lot in the office this week. The use of disruptive when it should be innovative, the use of game changing when it's probably a technological evolution. So do buzzwords have a place or should they be avoided at all costs? Well, one of my favourite ones from about five years ago was the word eco-ship, just for defining a kind of new ship that had come onto the water, when in fact it was just the yards creating an evolution mm. of the ship by putting more environmentally sound or fuel efficient systems onto the ship. There was nothing brand new about them. I think though that's a, the challenge from a marketing perspective. At any one time there's going to be a buzz in the industry about something and you want to catch that buzz but get it wrong and you risk undermining your credibility with your clients and potential clients going forward. And I think as a journalist also you have to be careful of the words that you're using, particularly if you're a broadcast journalist or doing podcasts because it's very easy to use very short sharp words to actually try and get a message out and then they lose their meaning or they become meaningless and then they're the wrong words to use. And in, in the case of infested in the mainstream media I heard of pirate infested or shark infested waters, really? Well, in, in fact, buzzword itself is becoming a buzzword. But I think what we need to do then is challenge ourselves, all brands challenge themselves about being uh, more authentic, finding the right words that describe uh, your product or services and backing them with evidence. Don't be shy from saying something's disruptive or innovative, if it is, but give it some, some evidence. And I think that it's also a challenge we should set ourselves to uh, see how much we can try and avoid using buzzwords and only use them when most appropriate.